Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip and I am here with installment number three of Barn Blitz Bonanza. You may ask why all the Barn Blitz? Well, because it's the only thing people are sending me right now, so that is why. And also because it's so hot outside, I thought we could all use a refreshing snow map. So after this though, after a few more Barn Blitzes, uh, we will never see Barn Blitz again on Kip TV, I promise. <laughs> And we'll try not to do it, um, try not to be so heavy on the UGC map of the week next time. But in the meantime, I need to practice and you don't have to watch it, so there we go. We are seeing a match between Last Minute Lineup and Jolt Tackle, two UGC Iron uh, teams. So I am very happy that they send me this because it gives me a chance to um, really examine, you know, what is going on that's important for me to look at and then try to also help them think about the metagame of Highlander and then me think about the metagame of Highlander. I'm not even sure what metagame of Highlander really is. But anyway, here are the lineups. We'll go over blue real quick. Um, we have Liggy P. Meat on s Medic, Ice on Sniper, Jimson on Spy, Kona Mint on Soldier, Pirate Jesus on... Uh, flame Guy, Ivox on Sniper, Guacamonkey on Heavy, Hippofrab on Scout, and Gersh on Demo. Did Nailed it. Alright. Um, looks like we were one down, but um, somebody joined up. But now we have two snipers, so interesting. Let's see. Beat Trunken, Douche Einhorn is um, doing a nice job. Uh, jumping up there, trying to get some high ground. Um, I'm watch the Dean Manic Cam because he is looking like he is out for blood. Oh my god, he's spots medic. He's a perfect kill and he gets the heavy and the medic on the cart. That's why you don't bring your heavy and me or your medic out. Oh, very nice. Okay guys, I'm gonna admit something to you. This is my second take. I actually saw that in the first take. I'm like, oh god, I have to get that. Oh look at this! Another one! I didn't see that. We're just gonna stay on the dude manic's camp because he's going crazy. So don't even try to tell me that um, iron is low level because it's Obviously, Dynamic is awesome. Look, they still don't know where he is! Oh my god, why is there no spy checking? Oh my god, oh no! No, Dynamic getting Glock on Monkey! And, um, Licky Meat again! And they still haven't caught him out. He just brings out that Dead Ringer every single time! Meanwhile, the cart is being pushed! Again, I don't know why my little head thing isn't showing up! Oh my god, what the heck? People, please! Um, we're not going to do anything else but watch the D-Man at camp, of course. Okay, well, there we go. Um, slow cap, clap for that. I was just amazing. 16 points. <laughs> no, hopefully. Alright, alright. Now, we're going to get serious, guys. We're going to get serious. Alright, so um, last minute lineup um, is positioned a very, uh, in a very usual spot here in the barn. The engineer has his heavy up here. He's going to want to get his his uh, pyro as soon as he responds. Oh, because he's getting some crazy damage, uh, sp spam in here. His pyro is with him now. Oh, but, um, Mogron, the, uh, NG did go down for red, so Pyros needs to stay up here and protect that gun as best as he can. That spy looks awfully suspicious, but, uh, he is not. So, do Blue, uh, not able to hold off A, but hopefully they're going to try, well, at least they are hoping to try to, um, wait and hold this off as long as possible. Um, so, we're gonna watch Leaky Beat- OH MY GOD, NO WAY! This poor medic, he- he just can't catch a break! He just got body shot by the sniper! Oh my god, that sucks so bad. I've definitely had those days where it feels like, no matter what you do, somebody, uh, is gonna put a bullet through your head or a knife in your back. Ugh. Glad I'm not him right now. Um, so, interesting, Mr. Fancy Pants is Rocket the Crits, because he's fancy like that. Um, probably take in his demo if he wants to be super aggressive here, because the uh, Crits isn't that great for staying back and playing conservatively, playing, you know, defensively. You want to be aggressive with it and use it once, pretty much as soon as you get it. Because then you can charge it up real fast again. Ooh, Mantheon, the, uh, heavy going down. Lots of players going down, so Mr. Fancy Pants decided this was time, and oh, huge Crits going in there. Um, getting a ton, a ton of damage down, but uh, meanwhile, they didn't turn around. Gersh, the demo for Blue, was destroying his NG stuff. Oh, so he was a little too preoccupied with those crits. And now the medic, do they, does he even know this soldier is here? Okay, so finally that soldier goes down, but all the NG stuff is down, so I'm not sure if Blue's gonna... I mean, Red looks like they want to really hold this barn. Which is a good idea, because it's barn blitz for a reason. <laughs> the pan was out. Panda did not did not do anything right there. But anyway, um, 
So it's called Barn Blitz for a reason, because this barn is very essential in the first um, the first point, because it has some nice height advantage and fun stuff like that, and hiding places and good sentry position places. But at this time, I'm not sure if it's worth Red's while to um, continue to hold the barn. They uh, pop the crits again! Oh, Mantheon getting a couple of kills right there. Oh, can they get the medic? Yes! Oh, poor! Wiggy meat um, goes down again. We're just gonna call it meat. Um, I don't think he's had one Uber this entire time. I think he dropped right there again. So poor guy, I feel for ya. Um, looks like a Mobron, meanwhile, has uh, fallen back, which is probably a good idea. We're gonna see Manic again. Oh, those backs. Oh, so nice looking. So, that's such a big fat back to stab. Um, Managed to get away with that, so we'll see what other type of damage he can do. Oh, it's Drek Thars. What can he do? Oh man, I don't admit, I can't. How do snipers do it? It's so boring <laughs> in between like the awesome action stuff. Oh, here we go. Oh no, with that one. Yep, nope, too bored already. Um. Jolt those spots him out, or I mean Jimson spots him out, but there we go, a nice backstab, getting um, slight revenge for all of the crap of his, uh, the opposing spy put his team through. Um, so, last minute lineup doing an excellent defense right here, without a sentry, they're just holding it like crazy. So let's look and see what is going wrong with um, Blue, Blue's offensive push right here. Uh, First, we'll see what's going on with my uh, camera work. Um, Ibox getting a nice kill there. So, uh, first things first, this medic needs to get an Uber. Uh, that is the most essential part right now because they have not had one yet. Oh man! And they're just being crazy dominated by the spy, and they're letting him go away. They need some way much more spy checking. Where's where's the uh, pyro on this? Pyro should be next to the medic at all times. Look at this. The medic is completely abandoned, going after the spy. They, I'm not sure if they have. Um, mumble or team speak or something, but it does not look like they're communicating. Um, and now the medic is on fire, so just not a good day for this poor medic. Poor meat. Alright, but he's got this Uber now. Um, hopefully, it's been called out that the spy is down and the sentry is up here, so he really should be taking in his demo at this point to take down that sentry. They had a player advantage, but they have lost it by now. Um, and again, the medic is just be, is really, really exposed right here. He needs uh, players behind him, or in front of him, or... I mean, behind him, basically. Ah! Oh. Okay, and now they're getting completely airblasted and denied. The heavy doesn't realize that his medic was um, being blown away, so the pyro is actually... Oh no, okay. Pyro went down for red, but um, not a successful push there for Jolt. So, they are going to have to try and build up again. Uh, meet their medic actually did survive that. That's a... Very... Wait, did he? Yeah, yeah, he survived it. Um, so he's gonna have to build up that uber. If he wants to do anything. Oh no, D-Manic is doing his spy thing. Um, let's see if they know he's dead bringing. No, they do not. Um, okay, so that's the first order of business. Jolt, spy check. Oh! <laughs> Poor meat. Poor, poor meat. Okay. Um, so, spy checking is key. Remember Dead Ringer. A spy, never assume a spy is dead, especially in competitive um, TF2, where you're going to deal with some really high level stuff and um, spies who are very used to doing these things. Um, Jimmy just got a nice poke on his opposing spy who was also dead ringing, so there's going to be lots of spy stuff going on. There you go again. Oh man, this feels like deja vu. Didn't we just do this, guys? knife fight. Pretty, well, I was gonna try to get the epic knife fight, but uh, looks like we have some actual interesting things going down. Uh, actually, no, we don't. Well, sometimes. Anyway. Oh, demonic. We'll stay off your cam. So, Meat is healing his demo right now. He's just trying to put in some spam right there. Really, he should probably back up, because they want him alive when the super does come, and it is close. But right now they are four down, so Red has a nice player advantage if they want to do anything. They do have 100%. I'm not sure what Mr. Fancy Pants is rocking, if, you go, if he's still on the crits or what. But um, if they wanted to push, that would have been a good time. Unfortunately now it is a little too late if that, for that um, uber advantage. But here we go. Blue taking in the medic. There we go. One, two, yeah. 
goes down. Center thing goes down. There we go. Mr. Pants Pants was rocking the uh, the regular medigun, so he was able to pop that in defense and pretty much completely shut down Blue's push. So less than a minute left. Blue is not looking great at this point. His center gun is already going up, and look at that uh, dispenser right there with that there. Um, it's not going to take very long at all to get that to a level 3. So remember, when your pushes, ladies and gentlemen, always take down the dispenser. Oh, Drakthars is <laughs> pulling up the Huntsman. Um, okay. Oh, the Fire Huntsman. Um, not so sure about that. It kind of seems like a, a play. It's a, a clown move. I hope you know the reference. So I'm um, kind of just not taking it too seriously at this point because it looks like it is pretty much going to be a victory for last minute lineup, at least for this round. And indeed it is. Oh, D-Manic got outscored by Mr. Fancy Pants. That is just too bad. So we'll see how uh, Jolt's defense compares to their offense. Who am I looking for? Um, I'm looking for... Oh, we, ha we need to go for rosters for Blue right now. So, um, we've already met Mr. Fancy Pants a couple times. He's a medic, a team manic. The <laughs> amazing spy is on spy. Mobrin is the engineer. Drakthars is sniping. Mantheon is heavy. Slow Sprint is pyro. Poner John <laughs> is demo. Be Trunken is soldier and fat hawk is scout. I don't know if you'd want a fat hawk to be your scout. Maybe like slender hawk or maybe aerodynamic hawk. But uh, whatever. Don't discriminate against the um... Mission begins in 30 seconds. Anyway, um, Jolt actually set up on the bottom. Not sure about this. Um, the thing about the height is that it's um, harder to spam from the ground, but then you do get an if you get an uber coming in here they're really easily uh, easy take have an easy time taking out the gun. Mission so I'm not sure about this. We will see how it goes. Always up for new sentry spots. Um, Four, he needs to build his uh, dispenser. Three, I mean his two, uh, teleporter though, one. which would be a very key. We'll see what ice can get if any quick shots. Oh, looks like he almost had that. It was not a home run. Oh, can we get this demo? Oh, nice headshot on Mantheon. The heavy. Oh, there is a spy up in his grill. Um, P comes out, and that is never fun for anyone involved. I can't imagine this sniper has too much fun with that either. Red just kind of like, pushing forward and dominating here. Um, Red Uber is popped, but why is the question? Um, not sure that was the best idea. They really probably should have saved it until blue popped. Um, but now that is happened. Oh, and meat goes down. Looks like a uh, mini sentry took him down. So the lady said, mm, 60 seconds. That is one of the. Ooh, again, nice, nice shot. Um, one of the ways that a blue can win this round, or last minute line can win this round, is if they cap. The at point A in uh, less than 1 minute 18 seconds, I believe, because that's how fast Red capped it, or um, Jolt capped it. If they don't, all they have to do is um, cap the second point, because Jolt was not able to do that. So, look at this pyro, sneaky sneaky pyro just creeping in behind. I don't think the heavy knows he's there. If the card isn't moving heavy, that usually means... Oh, wow. Hmm. So there we go. Last minute lineup just completely dominated in that first round. Um, I am eager to see what Jolt brings back because I feel like um, they could learn a lot from this first from this first round. So I will be back with the second round in a minute, and we are back with the second round. And you may say, "Well, that was an awfully fast minute," and it was because you, know, you didn't count with Mississippi. So there we go. Um, you may be asking yourself, why am I casting this um, iron game where we've seen some in interesting strategy in, or lack thereof. Also some lack of communication, lack of just being familiar um, also with the map, I think. But anyway, you ask why? Well, that is a nice question. Um, a lot of these players are doing this for the first time and they want to obviously improve. Um, in between games there's some chat going on. A couple people asking the other team, like, how was I as a scout? Like, 
did I do okay at Sniper, and just kind of like the back and forth like that, because they're just really trying to learn and improve. And I feel looking at yourself um, is probably one of the best ways, too. And I'm not saying that I'm going to offer any great advice, because I may just end up confusing these players more. But um, hopefully this will offer them a look about some... I don't know, it's just my take on it. And also, I think everybody deserves to be cast, no matter how new they are at competitive TF2. Um, and I would have cried if somebody had cast any of my games from happiness, not from sadness or anything like that, um, when I was playing competitive. So, they... Everyone deserves to be cast, so there we go. That is my little spiel. Don't get mad at me for doing really low-level stuff. And by low-level, I don't mean low-skill, because that is obviously not true. Oh, because there we go, OT Panic! The crazy, crazy spy taking down the uh, the soldier for a blue team. And they did switch teams. d goes down to the bat. Hit the frab. Um, interesting. Oh, both scouts are using... Oh, no, no, no. The red scout, um, Fat Hawk, has the Boston Basher out, I think, which is interesting. Mm, not sure I would have gone with the Boston Basher. Oh, neat. Somehow doesn't have his Uber. He must have popped it, and I missed it. Oh, that's too bad. But I am already too engaged in this to go back. <laughs> Don't want to do another take. Oh, here comes the heavy just standing in this regular spot. I don't know how Meat escaped that. He was awfully hurt. Oh no, he didn't. Um, he got taken down by Slow Sprint, the pyro with the extinguisher. That's unfortunate. Um, so hopefully Meat has learned from this that he needs to stay alive. Um, also, it occurs to me that um, last minute lineup should be on offense for this. Because they should have the opportunity to set the time and then Jolt um, has to beat it. So I'm not sure they have their configs right, or again, it just may be lack of familiarity with um, competitive rules and stuff like that, which is no biggie. Um, as long as they're having fun and learning, that's the big thing. So where will Mr. Fancy Pants pop this Uber is the other question. Oh, he lost both his uh, demo and his um, his heavy to a spy. Okay, this is where you pop it. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, there's nobody on the point. Good hold, good hold. Um, but, um, oh, covered in milk, and that's when he decides to pop it. Ubering his scout, which, you know, considering Demonic's uh, skills is not a bad idea. Um, but he does find some other uh, heavier classes to Uber, so... There we go. Probably not the way he wanted to use that Uber, but... Um, they still haven't capped the, the uh, point A, so not bad. Oh, but here comes a blue Uber. Nicely timed for... Ah, sorry, for meat. Does not look like... Oh! Oh! And out of nowhere, D-Manic with the backstab. But he... The rest of his team, unfortunately, is gone or just respawning. And they're making this last push right here um, for the barn. But it looks like the barn is pretty much abandoned. Um, oh, slow sprint, axe, an axe, another question, axe, whatever. Um, but deciding, a blue really needs to take advantage of lack of, um, red setup right now. Ooh, slow sprint, nice power work there. Um, go in the fat hawk cam for a second, see if you can't fly away, or something like that. Um... Trying to target down the soldier. Mm, oh, what's he gonna do with the Boston Basher? Remember, if he doesn't hit something, he hurts himself. Oh, and he's a big swinger. Oh, and the medic stole the stole the um, the health. So it was a good play there by Meat. Um, I suggest if you use the Boston Basher, just make sure you really know where you're going with that. Uh, of course, I don't really use it at all. So maybe there's some more technique to it. So Blue is doing a uh, much better. T kind of better um, time here. They spent longer to get to through the barn, but they are looking a lot more solid. Okay, here's a problem, guys. You only need times three in the cart, and all of you standing on it, no matter how many of you stand on it, is not going to make this turntable turn any faster. So what you want to do is take those heavier classes, your demo, your soldier, your heavy, um, and bring them up to this line and try to get any damage down that you can, like the soldier is doing right now, but a little more careful because the containments just went down like crazy. Um, also, Medic is down, not sure what happened to Meat right there, but he is not going to be here for this push. It's, neither is the Heavy, because Drake Darius gets a nice headshot on him. Oh, he's doing the Huntsman again. 
Um, I'd love to hear his rationale for that because he wasn't first um, defending the first point, and now he is. So interesting. Ooh, medic, watch your back. But meat gets out of there. All right. Interesting. Jimson is being uh, very aggressive with his engine stuff, um, getting a level two up there. Um, not sure if it's going to do too much work there. Heavy, and that is um, a guacamonkey <laughs> trying to get in there, but he's not going to be able to do much. Um, somebody needs to be like on full-time protection of the medic, because there is a pyro right there. Oh no, oh no. Meat manages, no. Somebody get the pyro. Why can't, oh man, slow monkey, or slow sprint, that's right, sorry, slow sprint. It was just doing some crazy dodging right there. Um, oh god, here's demonic. This is not going to end well. Close your eyes, boys and girls, if you're squeamish. Oh. This is not suitable for children under the age of 10. Oh, so Uber dropped. Um, great opportunity wasted. Oh, but here we go. Gersh getting nice positioning here in the second attic, taking down the the, in, the NG um, first and foremost. Um, the gun does go down, but uh-oh, Dispenser's still up, and level 3 Dispenser is basically a level 3 sentry. That was a nice position by Gersh. Um, he did go down to the opposing... Um, what you call it? Soldier. Let's see if Fat Hawk can follow up on this kill. Oh no, not the Boston Basher. You're just hurting yourself. See, look at that. He's almost at 30 health. I don't think the sniper's gotten one shot on him. Um, oh, but he managed. Do not understand how he survived that, but he probably um, has some strat that I am not aware of. Anyway, uh, Red is now pushing way far forward, and this is not looking great for Blue. But they were looking okay for a while, but now they are. Um, stagnant in their their pushes. Um, they just can't get around this corner, um, which is unfortunate because it is a very big corner. Oh gosh. Uh, Fat Hawk getting the kill on Meet the Medic, so... Meet the Medic. <laughs> uh, about the one year anniversary of that, I think, actually. Um, so you see, Mo Brown is actually getting his uh, gun up there. He's going to be level 3 in negative 2 seconds. So, Blue is still going to have this impossible time pushing around the corner. They really should have pushed while that gun was down. Of course, easier said than done, because Red is actually has a strong presence in the yard, but Blue actually came back home with Uh Gets Guacamonkey with another headshot with the Huntsman. So, Huntsman, not always useless. That could be another message to take away, if you have a good sniper, which Drak Bar seems to be, why not use the Huntsman? Oh, uh, poor Meat goes down again. Looks like we had somebody join for Blue, but they're no longer here, so what class are we missing? Looks like we're missing Soldier for Jolt, which could be significant. Um, Depending on the skill of the soldier, they can be a, either like a very huge part of Highlander, or they could just be, you know, somebody who jumps around and uh, distracts stuff. It's not looking great for uh, the blue team right now. Again, I don't know why my um, little cart thing isn't showing up at the bottom, so we don't know how much time we have left. But I imagine- OH! Hello, Sentry! Um, Fat Hawk learned there was a sentry there the hard way. So, um, interesting right there from... Interesting strategy for the blue engineer, and I don't mean interesting in a bad way, I mean interesting because, you know, he was able to stop that flanking scout, which, um, Fat Hawk has already shown he can take down the if he needs to. So there we go, 60 seconds left. Oh, Meat was forced popping too early, but then the demo gets the stickies up there. Meat is being blown around like crazy. I don't know why he pulled out his needles. Oh man, not going to be able to do it. Oh, uh, that's ways to push right there. Or not ways, but defeated push right there, and they're probably not going to have enough time to get together another Uber. Um, what they need to do is bring that heavy, I mean, not, not heavy, the um, demo up here again because it was so, so successful when he did it earlier. I'm not sure why they're not doing it. It's a very easy access. You, uh, you go up these stairs and you turn righty, lefty up here, and then just bam, away. So, 
mm, could be a strat to consider in the future. It looks like um, they will not be able to make this cap for the second round. And uh, especially since there's an uber popped. Well, not since the uber runs away. <laughs> um, I was just thinking though, if you have an uber, you could just sit on the cart and there we go. So Pyro coming in first, slow sprint. So good round, GR. And uh, we will see if last minute lineup can clean this up. I am going to go ahead and say yes, because they've shown themselves to be very aggressive and uh, very capable. I think they'll probably, if they decide to stay in UGC, they'll probably move up to Steel next uh, season and be very well earned, Mission I believe. 60 seconds. Having said that, uh, they're... See, look, Drakthars. How am I doing, Red Team? See, that's so cute. He wants to know how he's doing. I wonder what they're gonna say. Better be nice. I only tell I don't tolerate mean things. Anyway, um... Economist says, amazing. That's very kind. Um, oh, I just love this discussion. Anyway, we're focusing right now. Um, meat is rising at 100% yet. Anyway, um, seems how Red is, Jolt is not doing, they're, is not putting up a huge, I don't know how to say this, but I think, um, I think Meat should go for crits right here and just spam the heck out of spawn because um, that's always fun. But see, it actually, well, actually, you know what? Blue is expecting it. They're all kind of back here, and then they realize that um, Heavy Medic have retreated. Um, Meat is way too close. Way, 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 way too close. He needs to back up. Um, the general idea for um, Heavy Medic on uh, defense is to plant them right here and wait until they're forced to pop. Um, Right now, Meat is way out of position. He needs to get the back, get back. He's not, oh, and see, he was forced to pop there and on the scout too, unfortunate. Looks like though, uh, we have a we have a red soldier now, so Jolt was able to pick up another player um, and Meat was able to pick him up with that Uber. Meat goes down though to, oh, oh we had a caber kill. Oh, sad I missed that, but uh, so it goes. So Blue pushing in, they have a, 1 minute 30 seconds left to take A if they want to win that way, or they can, uh, have a nice headshot. So, Drakthars, you're doing very well. There we go, there's your affirmation. Um, is that a sticky jumper? Huh. Okay. I don't think that. Otherwise, we're gonna have a little, lot of problems. But here comes Bantheon, and there goes the cap, and that is going to be two rounds. One for a last minute lineup. And that is the end of that. So thank you for joining me. Um, I hope I helped these teams out. Um, if not, I still had fun casting it. and <laughs> had fun watching do Manic. Um, yeah, so that's some really good stuff. Thank you to Mr. Fancy Pants for sending this in. I really appreciate it because I do need to work. Still got a lot of things to work on. Um, probably didn't work on them in this one particularly. But anyway, thanks again, guys. Um, stay tuned for more Barn Blitz.